non-hairy, glabrous skin, H and E staining. The specimen shows a longitudinal section through glabrous skin, stained with routine H and E method. The skin is a composition of two interconnected tissues, epithelial and connective tissue. It covers almost the entire body, and its primary role is to protect against harmful environmental factors, such as mechanical injuries. The skin consists of three layers, the outermost epidermis, the underlying dermis, and the innermost subcutaneous tissue. The epidermis is a stratified squamous keratinizing epithelium. It consists of several types of cells, keratinocytes, which are the primary cells of the epidermis, melanocytes, immune cells, and Merkel cells. Keratinocytes are arranged in several to several dozen layers, forming the stratum basale, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, and stratum corneum. The columnar cells in the stratum basale make up only one layer of cells resting on the basement membrane. The capacity to undergo mitotic divisions, which allows for epidermal renewal, is a characteristic feature of the cellular layer. These are therefore stem cells. The cells of the stratum basale are interconnected by junctions, mainly desmosomes, and by hemidesmosomes with the basement membrane. Among the stem cells in this layer, there are also melanocytes, responsible for the production of pigment, and Merkel cells, which form sensory bodies with nerve endings reaching the epidermis. However, H and E staining does not allow for their identification. The next epidermal layer is formed by polygonal cells, which are metabolically active and produce proteins, such as keratin and involucrin. These proteins will be involved in the formation of horny layer in the stratum corneum. The keratinocytes of the stratum spinosum are connected by desmosomes, which are visible in the specimen in the form of spike-like processes, which appeared as a result of shrinking cytoplasm of these cells, and from which the layer was named. Proteins produced by keratinocytes are stored in cytoplasmic granules. Involucrin, present in all further layers of the epidermis, is the best known protein from this group. It is a marker of keratinocyte differentiation. The stratum granulosum is made up of three to five layers of flat cells. In the presented cross-section, they are visible as spindle-shaped cells, arranged with their long axis parallel to the epidermal surface. The granule cell layer owes its name to multiple basophilic granules present in the cytoplasm. The stratum lucidum is the next layer. It is found only in the hairless skin and is characterized by high acidophilicity. The cells in this layer undergo apoptosis and are already dead elements, devoid of cell nuclei. The last, and at the same time the thickest layer of the epidermis, is the stratum corneum, which is made up of dead corneocytes. The lack of nucleus is a morphological determinant of cell death which is also the case in this region. Due to the change in the pH of this layer, its upper part exfoliates systematically. Research conducted at the Department of Histology and Embryology has shown that corneocytes synthesize a protein related to parathyroid hormone, PTH, which by combining with cytokeratin filaments can control their growth and differentiation. Under the epidermis, there is a layer of dermis, which forms a tight connection with the epidermis, additionally strengthened by the epidermal projections into the dermis, the so-called epidermal icicles, and dermal papillae. Histologically, the dermis is a typical connective tissue proper, rich in cells, collagen, and elastic fibers, as well as blood vessels and multiple nerve fibers in the form of nerve trunks and tactile corpuscles. Two layers are distinguished. The papillary layer, located just beneath the epithelium, loose connective tissue, and the deeper reticular layer, made of dense connective tissue. Subcutaneous tissue, composed of lobules of yellow adipose tissue surrounded by bands of loose connective tissue is the third area visible in the analyzed cross-section of the skin. It contains nerves, both nerve trunks and nerve cells, such as Veta Pacini corpuscles 
and abundant blood vessels. Sweat glands are present at the border between the dermis and the subcutaneous tissue. These are single tubule structured glands with a coiled secretory unit. Their secreting ducts run through the dermis and epidermis to the surface of the skin. The Department of Histology and Embryology conducts research to assess the degree of maturity of the vascular endothelium in the skin of diabetic patients.